Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video we're going to solve an equation that contains fractions. This is example number two on the website, and it's 3 halves x plus 1 half times the quantity x minus 4 equals 6. Now this equation looks very difficult, not only because it has a lot of terms, but also because it has two fractions. We're going to go through the steps that are required to solve this equation. And the first step that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the fractions. By getting rid of the fractions in the first step, that allows you to use the skills that you already know about solving equations to solve this problem. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at how this problem is set up. Now I've color coded this example for you to help you understand that there are actually three different terms. Terms are separated by plus signs, minus signs, and equal signs. So as you can see, we have one plus sign here that's in black and an equal sign. This minus sign here doesn't count because it's contained in parentheses. So it's only your operational signs, the plus, the minus, um, that are not contained in parentheses. So 3 halves x here in green is one term. 1 half times the quantity x minus 4, this entire blue section here is one term. And then of course our answer is a term because it's separated by the equal sign. So we actually have three different terms here. Now, in order to solve an equation with fractions, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get rid of the fraction by first looking at the denominators. Now, this is pretty easy because the two fractions contain the same denominator. If we have one fraction or two or more fractions that have the same denominator, we can multiply by the denominator to get rid of the fraction. So that means that I'm going to multiply every term by 2 because the denominator is 2. Now typically, and what I've done in the example on the website, is I've separated the sides and I've multiplied by 2. Now I'm a pretty experienced um, equation solver, so I know that I have to distribute this 2 throughout the brackets. Something else that you could do is you could separate each term individually. So I'm going to multiply the 3 halves times 2 and I'm going to multiply this term by 2 as well. So you could do this as well and multiply every single term by 2. And remember that whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other side. So that's why I'm also multiplying the 6 by the 2. We're trying to keep the equation balanced. And so in order to keep it balanced, every term has to be multiplied by 2. So now we're going to multiply by 2. Well, 2 times 3 halves, you can either multiply across, or you could simplify the 2 in the numerator and the 2 in the denominator, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. So 2 times 3 halves is going to leave us with 3. And then we still have the x. So this term is now 3x. Okay, you could also have said 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Either way is fine. The reason that we multiply by the denominator is because, again, if you have the same number in the numerator as in the denominator, they simplify to 1, and you're left with whatever number's in the numerator. So here we have 2 times a half is actually 1. And I'm just going to write it here even though technically you don't have to write 1 if it's the coefficient. And now 6 times 2 is 12. So we are left with 3x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 4 equals 12. So this can be simplified to 3x plus x minus 4 equals 12 because 1 times x minus 4 is x minus 4. Now notice that in that one step we've been able to eliminate the fractions and we've been able to write an equation that we can solve. Now we know that we have to combine like terms because I have 3x plus x 
which I know is 4x. So now I have 4x minus 4 equals 12. And just like that, I'm down to a two-step equation. So now I know that I need to get rid of this constant 4 first. So I'm going to bring down the left-hand side, which is 4x minus 4, and I'm going to ask myself, what do I need to do to get rid of minus 4? And I need to add 4 to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to add 4 to the left, and I'm also going to add 4 to the right-hand side. I know that negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And therefore, that leaves me with 4x equals 12 plus 4 is 16. And now I'm down to a one-step equation. 4 times x equals 16. The opposite of multiply is divide. So I'm going to multiply by 4 on both sides, and I end up with x equals 4. So my final answer is x equals 4. And again, you can substitute this back into the original equation and make sure that you get an answer of 6. Okay, so just remember that when you're solving equations with fractions, your first step is to get rid of the fractions. And that will make this a much easier equation to solve.